welcome to the installation video of ATI Strike Force Gunsock for the Ruger Mini 14 and Mini 30. Warning Place safety on the on position and carefully inspect the firearm to ensure it is unloaded. Begin by removing the magazine. Place a Phillips head screwdriver into the opening of the trigger guard and pull upwards until the trigger guard snaps out of place. The trigger guard can then be removed by pulling it out of the stack. Remove the barreled action by pulling outwards towards the rear. The cover guard can be pulled off. For the Mini 30, the magazine well must be opened properly to fit the magazine. Use a file or Dremel to remove material. Check frequently during the process for magazine clearance. To install the 2 inch Picatinny rail, use the screws and nuts provided. Insert the nuts into the side of the stock. Place the rail into the slot. Insert screws and tighten. To install the bottom Picatinny rail, remove the metal insert. Using the supplied hardware, insert the nuts into the stock. Install the rail into the slot and insert the screws. Finally, tighten. Reinstall the barrel to action. Reinstall the top cover and with the screws provided, tighten. Slide the trigger assembly into place. Push down on the trigger guard until it snaps into place. We have now completed ATI's Strike Force Gunstock for the Ruger Mini 14 or Mini 30.